go. We don't hang out anymore. We catch up every six months or so. We meet for coffee in Hollywood around 3.30 or 4. But a life in pictures is two-dimensional. You're killing it, they tell me. Have you gone mental? I'm working three jobs. Oh yeah, four. They won't let me into rooms in which I've been before. Do they really not remember? Guess I'm cellophane, but no matter what they say, I have a name. Castle, Criminal Minds, three-time Midwest Film Fest Best Actress, four guest appearances on Fameless. But I haven't begun, when even David Spade's name is waitless. I'm aging on the waitlist, 26 years young and too old, faceless. A waitress in a city of waiters, chasing the same bliss to be cherished by other than death's kiss. To be the name on everybody's lips, to be written into everybody's scripts. Then, Uncle Vanya, we shall rest. We shall rest. We shall see our families. We shall volunteer. We shall have boyfriends, then. We shall buy a new mattress. We shall do transcendental meditation. But Captain Nemo is driving this shit. If he weren't 20,000 below, I'd abandon ship. But where the hell would I go? This is all I know. LA is home. Stockholm, which is a way to stay alive and not just a syndrome in Neverland. Never. Never. Neverland. Then, suddenly, the day after I'm wishfully rubbernecking the Warner Brothers lot or scream crying in my car off of Wilshire Boulevard, she smiles at me. The city and the world again is filled with beauty. My song is on the radio, hitting all the fucking greens. Victory, she spreads my wings, makes me feel like I know what it means to be a revolutionary. That I know the meaning of life, that I see the sublimity divinity, the ecstasy of the diamond galaxy, that it's all so easy, that this is what it feels like to fly. I live in a vibrant, inspired community, and I wouldn't want anything else until the day I die than to thread impossible needles through invisible eyes, laughing at the sun, outrunning her, soaring so high. But inevitably, or so it starts to seem, wax melts, and that was the dream, and this is the reality. Swimming, swimming, searching, seeking, hide and seek, try as you might, can't peek, keep swimming. It's an ode to waiting, really? A paralyzation, paralyzed nation. When there is so much and so little time, what road is reasonable when there is no rhyme? The road less traveled by? Give me a fucking break. I live on that road, and it's not so great. We are a cardboard nomad metropolis on that godforsaken, sun-baked road. We are ragged amputees, neither supported by the government nor society. But the only thing we're missing is a thing we never had. Chewed and spat out by destiny, by whims, by fads, by ads. Up fronts, suck my cunt. You don't know me. If you only did. If you only. My fire is bright. My fire has made a difference. My fire has helped people. So they have told me. Please don't come back again for my liver. Not while I'm still chained to this burnt ass rock. Because after you leave shedding rotten feathers, I feel the hope grow back. I feel my tissues regenerate, fresh blood washing through, a cleansing rain assuaging cracked, droughted veins. I feel the joy creeping back, eliminating my memories of pain. I am alive again, and I find that my job is to be patient. My job is to dispel jealousy. 
My job is to know myself. My job is to love myself. My job is to expand below and above myself to fly. And next time, I won't melt my wings. Next time. So I keep looking. And I keep searching. And I keep seeking. I keep calling and listening, and in the silence, sometimes I keep weeping. But I just can't shake this feeling that somehow I keep winning. So just keep, just keep, just keep. <laughs>